I opened up my mouth to sing, but zilch came out. I opened a book to refresh my mind, but bats flew out. I wanted to crack into a smile, but a scowl broke loose. I wanted to be a channel of peace, and all hell broke loose. I wanted to fall in love, but I was just smitten. I wanted to experience life as an optimist. Instead, I got hard bitten. I went out to buy a canary. I came back with a pigeon. I went out to look for a god. I came back with religion. Good intentions end up in the gutter. What's the point? So I feed my mind guilt clutter and I smoke my own guilt joint. When disillusion is created with little effort and my efforts create little fruit, I try to focus instead on what he created effortlessly. Then something happened to me. I was opened and read and understood unlike the book. I was smiled at with affectionate white teeth, unlike my look. Biting, fighting, all the smiting, overwhelmed with so much love. When I screamed for my canary, I got two white turtle doves. When the willow weeps, he stays pert. While the lion sleeps, he stays alert. When the sun sinks into the deep and the moon ascends from its sleep, he still wants to acquit my kind from the dirt. And when I finally ignore what the ghost of blame dictates, I'm slack-jawed when I see the masterworks he orchestrates, the silky maggot that sews the Persian rug, the carnations for my Valentine's bouquet, and the great barrier playground where tomato clownfish play. My soul exfoliated, liberated because of him. My terror made minor, made inferior because of him. All my inspired desires transpired because of him. My effort can never be enough to fill the void because of him, because he is enough. Thank you. <laughs>